pledge allegiance to this flag It's part of who I am I don't kneel for the anthem Ever have and never will The only thing that my ancestors ever gave to me Was an ass-kicking patriotic good mentality Some folks just don't see how damn blessed they would be If they had it Here's to the... What's up, y'all? So you got a brand new album coming really, really soon, American Savage. Um, the album itself almost didn't happen. I know that's a loaded statement to make, but it almost didn't happen. I got a call from my producer about a week beforehand. He says, buddy, there's two, uh, two players on here. I've never discussed this with you before, but uh, they've pulled out. They don't want to be a part of this project at all or any other projects in the future. They're big liberals. They've kept it hidden. You know, the election just happened. They, uh, they just went full snowflake on me, so <laughs> they don't want to be part of this, uh, this album anymore. We're going to have to find some replacements immediately. That was a shock to the system. I played with these guys for 10 years now, um, but the deal is I believe in absolute freedom. If you don't want to bake a cake for somebody, you shouldn't have to bake a cake for somebody. If they don't want to play for me because I'm a right wing and say a bunch of conservative stuff, that's absolutely their choice and their freedom to do so. So sayonara. We got replacements who were not replacements at all. These guys were the most phenomenal musicians in the entire world. We were all set. We were all rigged. And then the night before, the night before, my bass player comes down with Corona. So we have to find another replacement for him, who again was not a replacement. It was Mark Hill, uh, Chesney's bass player. Absolutely one of the most world-class phenomenal um, players and human beings you could ever be around. So we knocked it out of the park. We did it... Um, and it just turned out to be an incredible situation. I get asked a bunch, um, what's it like to record a studio album? What's it like to be in there? I say, it's like taking the SATs. It really is because you're in there for 10 hours a day and you're laser focused, which with a guy like me and the level of ADD that I've got is, is just hell because you have to focus on every detail for 10 hours a day, every single day, uh, because it's your project, it's your baby. You have to be the director of a movie. All those things you have to be and that's exactly why I'm not an accountant. <laughs> I could never thrive in that kind of industry. And uh, you just have to be locked on. So that's kind of what it's like to, uh, to get in there and do this. Now, 2020 was my Waylon year. It was the year of Waylon Jennings. In my truck, I don't think I listened to another artist half as much as Waylon. I don't know what it was. I just couldn't turn him off. Um, and you're going to hear a big hat tip to that in the title track, American Savage. Um, that we did, you know, I said, if Waylon was to walk in right now, what kind of feel would he put to this song? And it's cool as hell. We've never done a song that sounds anything like American Savage, um, which I'm fired up about. Another cool thing that happened in the studio was I said, um, Welfare Worker. It was one of the biggest truck sessions we did. I said, uh, I don't know why, but I just got this feel in, this, in, my, in my head for this song. I got this feel like I want to do... It was one of my favorite songs. I don't know if any of y'all have ever heard it, but I've played it 4,200 times in my truck at least by now. Um, it's called These Boots by Eric Church. Y'all have probably played it as much as I have. I just love that song. It was never on the radio, but I said, this is the feel I'm going for in this song. And Mark Hill, my bass player, looks up. He goes, was that uh, Sinners Like Me, his first album back in the day? I said, yeah. He goes, yeah, that was me playing on that album. <laughs> so I said, well, naturally, you, uh, you understand exactly what I'm going for on this one. So that, that was some of the cool stuff that, uh, that turned out of that. As a rule, I do not allow film crews in any of my sessions. I don't do it. Um, it pisses off the session players. One of the guys was playing on a Chesney record about two years ago. Uh, he was trying to learn the song and be in this creative space. This camera guy um, was shoving the camera you know, so close to his, uh, his drum set. He leaned up like that and he hit the camera lens and the guy just flipped a lid and rightfully so. Um, I, you know, you're paying for these guys and you're, you're dedicating all this time and you're really trying to get in the most creative space possible because these songs are your baby. This album is your baby. Why on earth would you shove a camera in their face? I mean, what human being besides like Ryan Seacrest, you know, is not affected by that. People as, in general don't like a damn camera shoved in their face. So, um, all the pictures I'm showing y'all from the, in this video, they're just snapshots. They're real quick shots. I uh, try to stay the hell out of their way at all times and just let them do their thing because I found out the music comes out better that way. These players, what's so cool about them is they're a little bit older and I love that because with older guys you get real country. Um, you don't get this modern crap that they're trying to do now that, I don't even know what genre you would call that. 
you don't get that stuff. You get, you know, less drama. You get zero ego. These guys were just phenomenal. They cared um, when they walked in about how the song was supposed to sound. Got halfway into it. Is it sounding, you know, like the way we did it? Let's reassess and, and just really cared. It wasn't just a job. So that was just cool as hell um, when you get pros like that. By the way, uh, I had posted on Parler back when Parler was still an app a month ago. Um, hopefully it comes back, but uh, Parler, I'd posted on there that I was at Ocean Way Studios in Nashville, and a few fans had stopped by, put some Miller Lite in the back of my truck, stuck a note on the driver's side door uh, saying, here's the Miller Lite, and that was just cool as hell. So whoever did that, I really appreciate it. That was, that was awesome of y'all. I've got some great fans. I really wish I could have stuck around and, and uh, dropped the tailgate and just drank them with you. It was exactly what I would have done if you just stuck around, but uh, that was just cool as hell that I've got fans that would do something like that. Uh, made my trip a little bit easier and, and uh, made the Nashville run happier. I'm dealing with a huge advantage these days uh, with doing truck sessions all through the year because I know I've got home runs when I walk in the studio. It's not, I'm just gonna guess and see what fans like or anything like that. I, I know these are the ones that got hundreds of thousands of views all through the years. I mean, we did Looters, we did Welfare Worker, Redneck in the White House, American Savage, Delivery Time. I mean, songs like that are just gonna kill and I know that going in because I've looked at the the views and the shares and y'all get to develop an acoustic relationship with them for almost a year and then we both get to watch them come to life at the same time with world-class musicians and just open up and let them let them rock so you're hearing it at the same time I'm hearing it it's cool as hell um, and I just can't wait so we're pushing for early March might even be March 5th you're gonna know for sure uh, very soon I'm gonna make a official announcement we're just trying to get the last few songs in budget how many days do we have we've got to master them turn around time upload time uh i hate waiting so you're not gonna have to wait a second longer than you have to this is the best album i've ever done in my life god bless you brand new merch below at the youtube link if you're there facebook's got new merch all the american savage gear is coming out and uh i'm just happy as hell to get to do this for a living and uh get to have y'all as fans um, really, really hoping this lifetime I get to shake every one of your hands and uh, crack a beer. God bless you. Be good. My ancestors ever gave to me was an ass kicking patriotic good mentality. Some folks just don't see how damn blessed they would be if they had it. Here's to the American savage.